Hello guys, I'm taking you on a tour of my grocery store to show you if there's anything left to prep on the shelves. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we put up new videos. Hello, I am Tara, the author of the Dining on a Dime cookbook where you can eat better, spend less. We have a new hardcover with full color pictures and over 1200 recipes and tips to help you save money on your grocery bill. Check it out at livingonadime.com. Okay, so I started off in the noodles and they were pretty stocked, but certain kinds of noodles they were out of. So you can still get noodles. It looks like they had plenty on the store shelves, but you may want to stock up just in case. Those are something easy to cook so people get those a lot. Bread. There was a lot of bread, but here's the thing, guys. Don't buy a lot of bread. Bread doesn't store very long. So you don't want to waste freezer space on bread. You want to just buy that as you need. All right, peanut butter. They had a lot of peanut butter. So I would go ahead and get what peanut butter you need. They had it on hand. Also coffee. They had quite a bit of coffee still on hand. Coffee will last quite a while. Coffee and tea. So grab a few of those while you're there. All of the oatmeals, they had quite a few oatmeals. Oatmeal will last about a year or so. So you could stock up for about a year's worth of oatmeal. Soups. Now, they did have a lot of soups at the store, but soups are selling out and certain kinds of soups are selling out pretty quick. So if you want some soups, I would grab those particular kinds that you really like. I would especially get the chunky type soups that are a full meal and not just something to add flavoring like cream of chicken soup. There was tons of canned beans and dry beans. Both of those are really good staples. They give you a good source of protein, carbohydrate to help give you energy. Canned beans are super easy to fix, so I would go ahead and get several cans of canned beans to have on hand so you don't have to cook them. Be careful, they were out of ramen. Once again, all these people who don't know how to cook are grabbing the ramen and the macaroni, and so they are selling out of those fairly quickly. Fruits. My store did finally have fruit back in stock. Now, it has been quite a while since we've had fruit in stock. I have been able to get some here and there, but I haven't seen the shelves just completely full like they are now. So I would grab the fruit while you can right now, stock up. It's a good time if they have it on your shelf. Things like tomatoes, chilies, those types of things, those are easy foods that you can add flavorings to your soups and stews and that kind of thing. But the tomatoes, they do, they do have about 50% of the stock at my store. It wasn't totally full. And then um, the chilies and those kinds of things that are easy to eat, those are in stock, but they're not completely full. Macaroni, the macaronis were gone. Once again, people don't know how to cook, so they go for the easy things like macaroni and cheese, ramen, minute rice. All those quick, easy cooking things really go quick. Mashed potatoes, they actually had them in stock. This is a great prepper food, mashed potato flakes. Super easy to cook. If you don't have milk, you can add broth or chicken bouillon or beef bouillon. It doesn't have to be milk that you use to make your mashed potatoes. You can use bouillon, and even if you're desperate, you could just make them with plain water. Rice, they had a whole bunch of rice in stock. Again, rice lasts a super, super long time and goes great with beans. Get you some beans and rice and some spices, and that will be easy stock up for prepping foods that will give you a lot of sustaining, filling energy. They had toilet paper, but they were out of paper towels. It was absolutely crazy. I don't know what is wrong with Americans and their obsession with paper towels. You do not have to have paper towels to live. 
toilet paper was in stock, but paper towels weren't. So <clears throat> get yourself a year's supply of toilet paper in stock. I don't know what it is with people in toilet paper. Once again, guys, watch my prepping for pooping video. I'll leave a link in up here in the card. But you don't have to have toilet paper to poop. Sorry, but this is actually a fairly new invention. So <laughs> if the shelves are empty of toilet paper, there are alternatives that you can do. So here's the thing, guys. The grocery stores seem to be doing fairly well. It's not really that there's food shortages that I'm noticing and the prices really aren't going up that I'm noticing either. So this is a perfect time to take that extra money, take that $10 that you would spend at Starbucks for a, for a drink and a donut and go buy yourself $10 worth of beans and rice and spices to get you through a week's worth of meals. Don't go buy that extra thing of beer. Don't go buy the extra thing of wine. Don't go buy the extra Coke, Dr. Pepper, whatever it is, your vices that you're drinking. Don't go buy the extra chips. If you cut those things out, and I'm not saying cut them all out, but cut some out and take that money and allocate it to getting your stores built up. So if you have an emergency, a job loss or whatever, then you can make it through. I'm sorry, but you can call me cold hearted all you want. I don't care. The fact of the matter is that the majority of these people that got laid off at the beginning of the whole supposed COVID pandemic didn't have to suffer. They are wasting their money on things like new cars, on car payments, all of that stuff. And it didn't have to be that big of a deal. They didn't have to go to the food pantry. The fact is they're going to the food pantry because it's an excuse to not take responsibility for their own food stores and getting their act together so that if there is an emergency, they can do it. And yes, I'm even talking about the people who are making $12 and $15 an hour. I have lived through it. I have done it. My husband has been unemployed several times. And... We've never gone to a food pantry ever. Why? Because we took responsibility for ourselves. And even in the worst of our financial times, we made it through just fine. Because when times were good, we made sure that we had stuff on hand so that we could make it through. The economy is doing great. I know there are lots of people who blame the economy for everything, but stop blaming the economy and start blaming your spending choices. You will be able to get yourself pulled up by the bootstraps if you start making responsible choices with your money. But until you decide to do that, you know, there's nothing I can help you with. So I'm sorry if I'm sounding cold hearted, but guys, the fact of the matter is you are responsible for taking care of you and your family and you can do it even on a minimum wage salary. I have done it for years. Thankfully, we're not on minimum wage now, but I went through it, had kids in the middle of it, had layoffs, sickness, all kinds of stuff. You can be prepared for whatever comes your way if you're willing to do it. We have a freebie for you, our Dining on a Dime cookbook ebook, volume one. If you go click on our shop at livingonadime.com, put the ebook in your cart, use the coupon code with no spaces, and hit apply, and you will get it from free from us. Please visit us at livingonadime.com. We will see you guys next time.